हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर वेल द ओनली वे टू लर्न मैथमेटिक्स इज टू डू मैथमेटिक्स विदाउट डूइंग मैथमेटिक्स यू कैन लर्न सो विदाउट मेकिंग एनी डिले लेट अस स्टार्ट डूइंग मैथमेटिक्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन straight lines in fact it is an extension of a two dimensional coordinate geometry what you have learned in high school level if you remember all this formula it is good if you are not remember no need to take the tension this is the introduction class i would like to recap those formula what we have learned in higher classes means in high school level okay children let us start so one of the most important formula starting formula what we learned that is the distance formula What is the distance formula? X two minus x one square plus y two minus y one square root over. This is the distance formula. See that. This is the x axis. This is y axis. This is the origin. Suppose. A is a point. Its position we can know from its x coordinate and y coordinate. Suppose its x coordinate is x one, y coordinate is y one, and B is another point whose x coordinate is x two, y coordinate is y two. The position of the point. b we can know from its x and y coordinate now we have to find the distance between the point a b so from the point a we draw one perpendicular at the same time from the point b also draw one perpendicular for example this is the point r this is the point s See now, I'm joining this one, which is exactly parallel to the principal axis, and it is perpendicular to the side B S. So, according to Pythagoras' theorem, in triangle A B C, A B is the hypotenuse since angle C is Right angle. I have drawn perpendicular to the side B S. So I can say that A B square because we know that in a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of the other two sides. So A B square I can say that this is A C square plus B C square. Now you see that. Here to here, I have taken this x coordinate is x one. That means this distance is x one. Here I have taken x coordinate is x two. That means the distance from here to here is x two. Similarly, I have taken the y coordinate is y one. That means this is y one, and this is y two. So a c square a to c I can take it o s minus o r. So o s means that is x two minus o r. Here to here distance is x one x one square plus b c. That means 
from Bs I shall subtract the Cs that means this is y2 minus y1 square implies that AB I am taking square root in both sides is the square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square this is the distance formula I proved it but you have learnt in the high school level still it is time to recap once again so next formula is the section formula section formula what is that section formula it is n x2 plus n x1 upon m plus n m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n let us prove it so like the previous case I am taking this is the x axis this is y axis suppose here AB is a line segment. The coordinate of the point A is x1, y1, B is x2, y2. Suppose I am taking P is a point in between A and B. It may be any places in between A and B. The coordinate of the point P I am taking suppose x, y for example the point p divides the line segment ab in the ratio m is to n in the ratio m is to n any ratio it may be that's why taken symbolically it is in the ratio m is to n then what should be the coordinates of the point p suppose from Warangal to Hyderabad, you are going to establish one educational institution. You decided that I shall establish the institution between Warangal to Hyderabad. You can decide any points. What should be the position? We can find the position. So, for example, I have taken m is to n ratio it may be 2 is to 1 it may be 5 is to 2 whatever it may be your equivalent is suppose I have taken it m is to n ratio then what I have to do listen carefully so in this case I am drawing perpendicular from a you can say this is a r a s sorry b s b t now simply join it I join it so A B suppose I am giving its name as C here is the D now you see that these two triangles are similar triangles because these two are the parallel lines this is the transversal these two angles are Corresponding angles, these two angles are 90 degree. So, according to angle angle similarity, I can say that the two triangles are similar. If the two triangles are similar, we know that the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So, I can write that in triangle APD and triangle BPC. B, P, C. So, I can write A, P upon B, P is equal to A, D upon P, C is equal to P, D upon B, C. Implies that A, P upon B, P. So, in place of AP, I am taking M. In place of BP, I 
आई एम टेकिंग एम इज इक्वल टू ए टू डी ए टू डी सो आई कैन टेक ए टू डी दैट इज O to s minus O R. That means O to s is the x. X minus O R. That is x one upon n. Similarly, here I have taken the n. That is B P. Here A D I took x minus x one. P C P to C. I can take O T. Minus O S O T means that is X two minus O S means X is equal to P to D P to D I have taken here this point Y coordinate is Y I have taken Y minus here to here Y one. Y one upon Y two minus Y, so implies that. So I can write that m x two minus m x is equal to n x minus n x one. This is one case. Second case, what I can I can write m y two minus M Y is equal to N Y minus N Y one implies that M X plus N X is equal to M X two plus N X one. Similarly, M Y goes that side plus N Y is equal to M Y two plus N Y one. implies that if i take x common m plus a is equal to m x2 plus n x1 upon m plus n similarly here if i take common m plus a is equal to m y2 plus n y1 implies that so i can write that x is equal to M X two plus N X one upon M plus N, and Y is equal to M Y two plus N Y one upon M plus N. So we prove the section formula. This is the second formula. What I explain. This is the section formula. For example, in this case, on special case, suppose I shall divide this A B. In the ratio one is to one, he, that means P is the midpoint. If P is the midpoint, then what I shall get? I shall get this P X Y. If P is the midpoint, means it divides one is to one ratio. So in place of M X two plus N X one, I shall write one into X two plus one into X one upon N plus N one plus N. That means X two plus X one upon similarly and also Y two plus Y one upon two. So one into Y two plus one into Y one upon one plus one or Y two plus Y one upon two. Okay. So this is the special case if the point P. Divides the line segment in the ratio one is to one. That means P is the midpoint. Okay. In many cases, we can apply the formula m x two plus n x one upon n plus n for x coordinate for y coordinate m y two plus n y plus n plus n. Let us go to the third formula. Third formula about the triangle. Area of triangle. Half of 
x1 y2 y3 plus x2 y3 minus y2 plus x3 y1 minus y2 okay see ya so i retain triangle formula half into x1 into y2 minus y3 y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 okay listen here <coughs> here one order is there one pattern is coming x1 x2 x3 similarly here it is coming y2 minus y3 y3 minus y1 y2 y3 i have taken y1 here here is y3 y1 y2 here definite one pattern is there which one easy to remember there is no doubt at all let us prove this suppose x axis this is y axis and taking one triangle a b c triangle suppose its coordinate is x1 comma y1 this is x2 comma y2 this is x3 comma y3 we have to find the area of the triangle now from this point i am drawing perpendicular okay suppose this is q this is r this is s so i have to find the area of this triangle so i can say that area of a triangle abc is equal to area of trapezium abqr abqr plus area of trapezium arsc arsc this trapezium one more trapezium that is minus half of the area of a trapezium bqsc bqsc okay we have to find the area of the triangle abc this trapezium this trapezium addition and subtracting this trapezium ultimately the triangle abc will come so what is the formula for area of trapezium area of a trapezium is equal to half into sum of two parallel sides into distance between them so now i can write that so this is the formula i am going to apply here area of the trapezium abqr this is equal to half into bq plus ar distance between them q r plus half this trapezium ar plus cs 
into distance between them r s r s minus half of area of this trapezium that means b q plus c s and the distance between them this is the q s okay children see here now half of b to q b to q i have written this is y2 so this is y2 a to r a to r i have written this is y1 plus y1 into q r i written q r so q to r from this we subtract this or this point okay so here to here is the x1 here to here is the x2 i have taken okay so you can take that is here to here is the x1 here to here is the x2 x1 minus x2 plus half of a to r a to r means this is y1 y1 plus c s so c to s c to s how much i can say that from okay c to s this is the y axis so i have taken it is y3 already mentioned here y3 into r s here to here r s that means x3 minus x1 x3 minus x1 minus half of b q b q that means that is y2 plus c s means this is y3 into q s q to a q to s that means x3 minus x2 q to s i am taking here to here is i have taken x3 and here to here is the x2 so this is x3 minus x2 i think is correct so half bq y2 ar y1 qr x1 minus x2 second one 1 by 2 y1 plus y3 y1 have taken in place of a r this is y1 y3 have taken that is the c s yes correct next one in place of r s we have taken the x3 minus x1 minus half b q b q this is i have taken y2 plus c s I take in y3 into q s q to s that means from x3 I have taken q to s x3 I have subtracted x2 here to here x3 here to here is the x2 so this is x3 minus x2 now we simplify that's all see here so I am taking one by two comma next one y to x1 y to x1 minus y to x2 plus y1 x1 minus y1 x2 plus y1 x3 minus y1 x1 plus y3 x3 minus y3 x1 again here minus sign is there one by two taken and comma minus y2 x3 plus y y2 x2 minus y3 x3 plus y3 x2 so if i simplify it
so we have to see which one will be cancel so plus y1 x1 minus y1 x1 so y3 x2 here is y3 x2 Which one will be more x1? Here is x1 cancel. Is x2? X2. One more x2 is there. Minus y2 x2 plus y2 x2 cancel. We we'll go to the x3. So here is x3. Here is also x3. Y3 x3. Y3 x3. This is cancel. So now I can write that this is equal to half into here <coughs> y2 x1 this is y3 x1 here here I am taking common x1 y2 minus y3 plus we we'll go to x2 here is minus y1 x2 here is y3 x2 so i'm taking common x2 this is y3 minus y1 plus let us see the x3 so here is y1 x3 here is minus y2 x3 that means if i take common x3 y1 minus y2 this is the triangle formula what i wrote here it is already proved so children so this is just introduction class it was a recap just what you learned in the higher classes next classes we will discuss about the slope as well as the various forms of the equation of a line i hope that you might have understood thanks